what's cracker lacking fellow home dogs it's your old pal channel pup and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different i was aware that you guys are wanting some more quality content so i came up with kind of an idea to rank sonic the hedgehog movie characters in order of i could kick their ass to they could kick my ass so Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 characters. And they'll be ranked from I could kick their ass through fair fight to they would kick my ass. So, starting off here, we've got everyone's favorite, uh, Tom Wachowski. Oops. Um, so, obviously, he's a cop and he is Sonic's best friend. Um, he's got all kinds of policeman skills and everything, but at the same time he seems kind of kind of very laid back Like the kind of guy you could probably take advantage of. He's definitely got a soft side to him um, But I will again say like he's got his police cop skills and everything So he's gonna be more between fair fight to they would kick my ass But I think his compassion would kind of get in the way of matters. So I'm gonna put him slap bang sort of closer to fair fight than they would kick my ass so that's where Tom Wachowski is. Next up, we have Sonic's um, surrogate mother, uh, Longclaw, the owl. Uh, she's kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi, if Obi-Wan Kenobi ate mice. And, um, I mean, she's pretty tough to a degree. I mean, you've got to be to raise little Bobby like Sonic the Hedgehog. But um, at the same time, she does get gunned down by Echidna Warriors like a bit of a puss. Um, it's weird, she can fly and she could just kind of fly away as well. And she could kind of peck me to death. I'd say she puts up a bit less of a fight than Tom Wachowski. So I guess I'll I'll put her right here. I would say Longclaw has a chance, but and, and probably more of a chance than I do at winning that because of her flight abilities. But I think that's where she belongs. So next up we have Bubby Sonic, the little child version of Sonic. And let me get one thing clear. I wouldn't hit an animal and I wouldn't hit a baby. But, like, I mean, you gotta think. I mean, unless it pushed me hard enough. But, like, you gotta think. Um, Baby Sonic, really, like, it, it's all part of it's all part of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and straight up say I, I could kick Baby Sonic's ass very easily. I mean, he's only a little baby. What's he gonna do? I mean, he can run away. He can run away very fast. But he still got caught by the Echidna tribe. So, uh, yeah. So, again, bit of a bit of a strange logic to this one. We got Matty Wachowski right here. The love of Tom Wachowski's life. Um... Now, she... Okay, for starters, I would never hit a woman. And I'm not the fighting type, to be honest. I wouldn't hit anyone, really. But, like, you know, there's there's a kind of a special kind of... A line of cowardice to hitting a woman. But let's say it came down to it. Let's say maybe I was drugged into having to do this. Or maybe she would become, like, the next Hitler or something. Let's say I had to fight her. Uh, where would she land? Well, um... She seems very compassionate again. She seems like a very nice person, and she's not particularly built or anything. However, she does do yoga, which is going to give her some flexibility, and it's going to, you know, she's going to have a certain physicality to her. Whereas me, I'm just kind of a, I'm just a chubby young man, you know. Like I'm, I'm not going to stand that much of a chance against anyone really. So I, I would say, I mean, she's also taller than me. She's also taller than me. So because of a kind of athleticism, I guess, like she hasn't got the police training that Tom Wachowski has. But I would go ahead and put her between Longclaw and Tom Wachowski. Just right there seems about right for Maddie Wachowski. So next up, we have this sort of pretend Knuckles guy. Um, and unlike Baby Sonic, he don't chuckle. But um, he is part of the Echidna tribes that tried to kidnap Baby Sonic. And uh, they killed Longclaw, it seems. Um, so, I mean, if they could take on Longclaw and kill her... I would imagine they would have quite a good fighter kick in my ass, and I mean, also like let's let's just look at look at look at the fists. Those those are knuckles on there. Like he could get me out with one punch. I think like those knuckles in your eyes. That would that is not what you want. That's not what you want. So I'm going to put him above Tom Wachowski and Longclaw and Maddie. Like he's he's on the further end of would kick my ass. So next up we have. The Adrenaline Junkie Turtle, the, the guy Sonic gives a good ride and everything. Obviously, he's just a little turtle. I would never hurt an animal, as I have said, and again, I'm not the violent type, but if it came down to it, if this turtle was going to, you know, do world domination or something several years down the line, just a good stamp on the show, I think, and he would be done. Like, that's, that's it for him, so... I would say 
probably even easier to fight than Baby Sonic, to be honest. Like, he, he goes here. Like, he, he's easy enough. So next up, we got Crazy Carl. And um, one benefit Carl has in battle is that he is indeed crazy. So I think he's less likely to hold back. He's obviously got access to a lot of things like bear traps and uh, and chainsaw and everything. And like with those, I'm I'm toast. Like I I own only butter knives and maybe the odd bread knife. And I guess like that's yeah, that's not going to be a fair fight. I mean, he is old, so he might stumble around and he might you know break his hip while he's at it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's probably less of a danger than the Echidna tribe because they're awfully feral, but um, he's still nevertheless a threat, so he's gonna go right about here. Um, if, 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 if you can't see him very well, like that, there he is, get a good look now, and, and then he's gonna go back down into his little slot there, there we go. So, next up we have Wade, Wade Whipple, uh, Tom's pal at the police office and everything, and uh, he's kind of your sort of your incompetent cop, kind of a kind of a wuss, I reckon. And um, like, I mean, he's like me in many regards in that he wears long sleeve shirts under a slot under a short sleeve shirt. Sorry, um, I think really this guy reminds me of myself, to be honest. So I'm gonna straight up say, while he is a police officer and everything. And I do respect the law. I'm going to say slap bang in the middle. Fair fight. Sure thing. So here we have, uh, uh what's the name? Rachel. Rachel, uh, Maddie Wachowski's sister-in-law or sister. It's Tom Wachowski's sister-in-law, Maddie Wachowski's sister, I'm presuming anyway. Um, now she is a scary lady. Like she has a lot of anger on her side. And um, also there's a little bit more of a size to her than there is with Maddie. And that's not an offensive thing. Everyone comes in a different shape and size and everything. And uh, she's got more sort of the fighting sort of stunts. So I'm going to go ahead and say she would definitely kick my ass. Like she's got the temperament on her. She's got the strength. She's got the power. I noticed the females are all on the bottom here. You know what? Let's, let's fix that. Let's, let's move you down. You go down there, we're going to condense it. So she's definitely on the further end of they would definitely kick my ass. Like, obviously I have a small chance. Like if I had like uh, some weaponry or something, she'd go down, maybe. But she probably has a weapon herself. So then we have Jojo, her daughter. Again, wouldn't hit, <laughs> wouldn't hit a girl, wouldn't hit a child. And I mean, like definitely not Jojo. She, she's a nice person. She does a nice thing for Sonic. Um... But I would go so far as to say, would definitely kick her ass. Like, that's simple, plain and simple. She is a child, and um, she's not a particularly big child or anything. She could get her ass kicked easily. So, in you go. I mean, I'd say she's, you know, she's less of a... F she's more of a fight than a turtle, I guess. But less of a fight than Baby Sonic. So, next up we have Major Bennington. Now, this guy... This guy couldn't even take on Dr. Robotnik, and he's like an army major, to be honest. And that's kind of like, you know, he's, he's making a laughing stock of the military, you know? Now, he does obviously have military experience, but the fact is, I could just beat this guy just by talking him down. So, I'm going to say I could definitely kick his ass. I'm going to go ahead and put him over here. Like, he's going to be more of a fight than Baby Sonic. In fact, mm, just below fair fight, I'd say. Just below. Like, you could, you could talk this guy to death, I think. And, like, talking... It's something I can do. It's something I do well, I would say. So then we have Agent Stone. And Agent Stone is, I would say, a fair fight. Um, he's not got the genius of Dr. Robotnik. He's not as boisterous as Dr. Robotnik. He aids him. And that's that's why he's a lucky and not the main villain, is because he's just a fair fight at the end of the day. That's why he, he needs the support of Dr. Robotnik. So he's going to go ahead and go in the middle here. Yeah. Just... He's a fair fight on the level of Wade, I would say. Maybe slightly more than Wade, but that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. He's got a slight advantage over me, but I think I've got I've got a chance at beating him for definite. So then we have Dr. Robotnik, and like Jim Carrey, very physical guy, a lot of physical stuff going on there, so he's got to be in good shape to be able to pull off the physicality that he does. And boy, can he dance. That's another advantage. Like, he could beat me in a dance battle. He's got robots, so he could beat me in uh, a robot battle um my robots nowhere near as good as his and um he's also like you know we saw him punch agent stone in the gut so i'm gonna go ahead and say he would definitely kick my ass so that's where you go dr robotnik 
And then we have the final two. We got Tails. So Tails, I'm just going to straight up say, he's a puss. He's a little puss. Like, um, he's often reliant on Sonic. Again, there's a reason why he's the sidekick and not the main boy. Um, he's very small. He's uh, got a little high-pitched squeaker voice. He hasn't even hit puberty yet. So I would go so far as to say he's got less of a chance of standing up to me than Baby Sonic. So he's going to just go down here. And then we've got the main boy himself, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and he's, he's obviously very fast. He's not much of a, a physical opponent, though. He's not the kind of guy that punches, as seen in the bar fight scene. Um, he's also quite an emotionally inclined little guy. Uh, suffers from loneliness and everything. So the thing, the main aspect would be don't set him over the edge. Don't say anything that's going to make him emotional, because then he'll start shooting lightning out everywhere, and then it's game, set, and match Sonic. However, if I avoid that, which is tricky because I can be quite a manipulative mean bastard if I want to be and that's my main fighting stance um, I would say it's definitely a fair fight he's got an advantage in that he can do that and he's got super speed but in fact I would say that he's probably easier to beat than Bennington like um, straight up so that's that's where Sonic goes so um, yeah that's that's that really so um, ranking them so like the turtle could definitely kick his ass very easily. Uh, then it goes Jojo. Could definitely kick her ass. Same goes for Tails and Baby Sonic. With Sonic, I could kick his ass, I reckon. I'm confident about that. But it's, you know, it's more of a fair fight than it was previous. Uh, Bennington, again, could just talk him to death. Uh, Wade, definitely fair fight. Game, set, and match. The same. It's, it's exact. Um, I'm probably using that term wrong. But um, then we have Agent Stone, who I reckon has a chance of beating me, but not too much of a chance. Uh, Longclaw, yeah, there's a chance there. Maddie, same goes for her. Tom, more likely than not, I would say. Crazy Carl, again, definitely more likely than not. The Echidna Tribe guy, yeah, he could do it. Um, Rachel, yeah, she could do it. And Robotnik has pretty much already kicked my ass. So, in conclusion, um, there are some Sonic movie characters that could indeed kick my ass 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 and some who could not kick my ass and that's kind of our conclusion. Thank, thank you for watching. And remember, steer very clear of old Dr. Robotnik over here. Like, steer clear of him. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Now, no, I'm definitely not the first person to come up with this concept of doing a ranking based on how likely they are to kick my ass. I first saw this done for Doctor Who characters in the Doctor Who Facebook group TARDIS posting. A lot of really funny memes in there. I recommend checking it out. So credit to them for the concept, but I figured, you know, let's do this for Sonic characters. Why not? What do you guys think? Comment below and discuss. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, why don't you head over to channelpup.net, where we've got a blog page called Dr. Blogtopus, but as well as that, you can also buy merch, such as this awful t-shirt. But if you want to be a part of the super fun kennel club, why not hit subscribe, hit the like button, and in the description below you can check out the links to my Patreon and my Twitter. I think that would be pretty sweet for both of us, what do you say champ? But in all seriousness now, thank you so much for watching my fellow home dogs. Have a great day, because you and I both know you've earned it. I'll catch you next time. That's a cute outfit, did your husband give it to you? because you could get a way better costume from Zentai Zone. Check out their range of custom-made, tailored superhero costumes. Ridiculously good quality, value, and customization. Link is in the description below, as well as my coupon code channel pup, where you can get a discount off of your purchase. And while you're at it, why not get your suit designed by my talented buddy Dan from New Blood Dan's Workshop? You can contact him via the link in the description below. Seriously guys, you do not want to miss out on your chance to be your favorite superhero and feel authentic and professional. And you don't want to miss out on that Channel Pup discount.